What's up guys? Welcome to Sharp Moves. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the economic downfall of the automotive industry and what that means for car buyers like yourself. So we all know we're stuck in a recession due to obvious circumstances. People are feeling it emotionally but financially as well and unemployment rates are at a staggering 3.7 percent and are continuing to grow. The car industry is being affected immediately by this. As of now, events are being cancelled and product releases are being pushed back all around the world. Car companies all over the world are reporting closures of their factory plants for an extended period of time. Rivian has pushed back their electric truck and SUV to 2021. The 2020 Detroit Grand Prix, Detroit Auto Show and Paris Motor Show have been cancelled, just to name a few. As of now, just about every dealership is closed across the country. So what does that mean? Can you even buy a vehicle if you want to? Well, the answer is yes. Most car dealerships are going online with their sales and reports say that by the end of the year, 80 to 90% of car dealerships will have the capabilities for e-commerce sales online. This will allow car companies to handle everything you need in your car buying process, except for the test drive and ultimately the final signature of your deal. A lot of domestic dealerships are reporting double sales in the last six weeks after implementing this online process. This is all good and well, but what does it mean for pricing? On the whole, car companies are losing millions and millions of dollars and are desperate to push their vehicles and get them sold. And because of this, car makers are offering some pretty interesting little deals that may be enticing for you. Car companies are offering extremely low APR rates. We're seeing deals with extended uh, deferred payment options for an extended period of time. And additionally, dealerships are showing a lot more price flexibility as they're in dire need to move their units. That being said, guys, I still don't think now is a good time to buy a car. Not only are there health repercussions of going out and um, attempting to buy a vehicle, I think the lows of the automotive industry are yet to be seen um, and will be revealing in the coming months as we endure this, uh, this virus. If you are in the market for a vehicle, my advice to you would be, one, do your research and due diligence on the vehicle, brand and model that you are potentially looking to buy. Two. Communicate with a number of dealerships that you're in the market to buy this particular vehicle and start feeling them out. Start feeling out the flexibility of their pricing and almost get them working against each other. Keep in mind that these guys are in a huge, huge hurry to move product, move units, right? It's their livelihood, it's their job. So I think you'll see, you know, assuming that you, you have flexibility and patience and can wait, I think you'll see that um, you know the, the price may come down substantially. And number three guys, ensure the safety of yourself and your family in uh, the buying process. Don't go to the dealership, practice social distancing and um, just do the right thing. So those are my thoughts guys of the automotive industry as of late. Um, a lot is still left to be seen as to where the automotive industry lands in the coming months and years. Um, I think as a buyer there's a huge huge opportunity here um, if we do sort of exhibit patience. I myself are in the, the market for a new vehicle and will be looking just the same as you to see my money go as far as possible and maximize um, what I can in, uh, in this sort of economic downfall of the, of the car market. As I said before guys, I think the inevitable sort of downfall of the automotive industry and where it will fall to uh, has yet to be seen. Um, so continue to check back here on this channel for regular updates. If you found this video helpful, don't hesitate to smash the like button and, uh, and subscribe. Uh, lots more content coming. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next videos, guys.